Hello and welcome back to episode 23 of my tutorial series for Dwarf Fortress. And today we are going to go deeper to this wonderful little magma sea where we got us some adamantine. So step by step we're going to get ourselves uh, closer to that, but we're going to start our adventures today with San. So last episode I have bought up a little bit of a uh, tunneling system here, which allowed us to access the only layer of sand that we got, which is uh, sadly sitting in a layer of aquiferous rock. That's a shame, but we made it accessible by getting us a uh, large room to dry up everything. All right, so these things, they are all good as they are. What we do need now next is we do require glass blocks. So glass blocks will be, they're made out of green glass and they will, they will be mandatory for our, for our business here. So they are the most important jobs for the time being. And we are going to set up a stockpile zone somewhere around here for those glass blocks. Let's make it happen here. So bars and blocks, we're going to make them green glass. There we go. So just so the uh, traveling time is that harsh on us. Okay, so the Forgotten Beast seems to have disappeared. So let's open the door and see if we are as safe as I think we are. The other thing that we could do, probably we should do, let's uh, let's put it up more like that and see if um, anybody decides to snoop into my base. You know, you cannot be too cautious. Only because the Forgotten Beast has not shown its face anymore doesn't mean it's not existing. So, oh yeah, we got a monster slayer who's uh, who's going outside for us. Thanks, buddy. You are actually, you're actually amazing, my man. So I'm going to close the door behind him and oh my goodness. So here we see the wonders of stealth enemies. So these guys are just flat out invisible. Damn. All right, let's see how many of them are. Oh, well, not too many. Let's see how my dude is faring against these. He's actually murdering them all. Oh my god. Nah, he didn't. He uh, he got murdered by the last one, which is uh, outright a shame. So what we're doing now is we're going to go back to our civilian burrow, assign everybody there, and uh, unpause it. Because I don't want anybody, except for my military folks, in that vicinity here. So we're open up the we're opening up the, the regular door yet again. So let's see. One of my craft dwarves went berserk. Oh, I bet that's uh, that's the one that required wood in the last episode. And gemstone. I bet that we don't have any raw gemstone for him left anymore. So okay. Rough times, we're sent the dimpled, bust after, dimpled busts after that, and let's see how this situation evolves. Alright, so... The Axe Dwarf has been struck down, that's a tragedy. You know, it's always sad to lose one of your folks. And in this fortress, admittedly, I lose way more um, dwarves to... Um, to artifact melancholy and uh, these things as I should and uh, would need to. That's mostly because I am too busy explaining things the whole time and uh, you know that kind of like puts a dent into my attention. Alrighty so let's uh, unpo uh, let's po do this and uh, I ordered you guys to kill off that guy. So there's even more cavern dwellers here. So really important now, directly unpause that burrow and station all our military forces here. You know, they're really brutally good against civilians and uh, not so good against my military. All right, so let's see. We, uh, 
We lost a peasant and an all herbalist. Let's see, was it our main herbalist? Ah. Okay. So uh, yeah, fun with cavern dwellers. That might might have been already the reason why there was no um. There, why there was no more forgotten beast. That might have been the very very reason. Okay, but uh, enough of that. We uh, we had a fair share of. Uh, death and uh, misery now, but that also means this region here is as dangerous as ever. Very important, I need to dump everything that's on top of the door. Nothing's worse than a door that you cannot unlock, uh, that you cannot lock. Trapper, drop off inaccessible. So, I don't know why that uh, thing is inaccessible, but uh, we're going to give you guys a few more bookshelves. Never had that. So, if you guys know why that failure, uh, why that error came up, I'd be delighted. So, let's get back to our actual place that we wanted to uh, work at. So, now we don't have any clue about where or what's going on there. So, we're going to construct us, uh, a piece of floor now out of glass. Here we go. So, this way we can peek into what's down below. It's lovely. Alrighty, so we got a couple of uh, these guys, and oh yeah, we of course need to... The burrow was still unpaused, that's why nothing uh, gets done. Alright. So, let's see how things will go forward here. So when you want to go for adamantine mining, I strongly suggest you to take it slow. There is no reason to rush things, and there is almost no benefit to be found in rushing things. And another forgotten beast with poisonous vapors, which happens to stroll around not on our dead player for once. So this guy is living in the deepest layers, or tier 2 layers, yeah, that's tier 2, and our entire thing here is uh, happening in the tier 1 layers, so we're fine, we don't need to worry about that in any regard. So one of our temples wants to be geared out uh, especially fancy, so, well, we already know that drill. Let's see, the Sect of Bejeweling. I'm going to wait for a sec because I'm very, very curious to see what we find down there. So the key now uh, lies in working ourselves bit by bit um, downstairs. All right. Let's see, I'm just checking if I accidentally allowed that glass block somewhere else. No, I didn't, that's great. All right, and also, well, it does take a while until things are done, so let's check out where the Sect of Bejeweling had their... Uh... Here, the Cathedral of Treasuries. Okay, so we need to upgrade that a tad bit. Let's see, what do we have here? Stat Statue-wise, we got a silver statue. That's certainly a good upgrade. And uh, another granite statue. Well, okay, these aren't as... Good ass, but well, they'll do the trick. Let's see, we don't have any uh, offering places built yet. All right, but we're approving that request now. That thing is now in need of a bump up of 8,000 dwarf bucks, so that'll take a while. And I also realized that I want to have this place here at Shift F3. So, construct building. Finally, the glass floor lady has come here. Hey, I thought I could look through that. Did they remove that feature? Well, I don't think that, uh, 
I get it uncovered directly. Admittedly, I didn't use that trick myself yet, but I felt like it's about time, you know. So, all right. We're just going to make more of these. It feels as if I can look through, but I don't see the uh, cartography. I expected to see what's uh, going on below as well. My bad. We're going to make us more of these green glass blocks because it's useful. And I can see already that, uh, well, there's a bit of transparency going on. We're going to spread a few more there. I mean, nobody, uh, nobody uh, can stop you from trying to just uh, brute force it. We're also going to put up a grate here. I always want to try out if a stone grate is actually doing the same trick. I never did. When you're preparing the adamantine mining, it's uh, really all about uh, trying your best to not... Um, Make yourself vulnerable against what's uh, happening down below you. Sadly, this is also very, very far down below. Therefore, it does take a while until things are being transported. Sadly. But the good news, we are actually at least again under con in control of our uh, of our caverns here. So let's chop some more trees and hope that nobody will get attacked down here. In the meantime, let's see if the glass blocks are finally available again. Ah, uh, nothing. I bet they're being carried from uh, from one spot to another. So let's. Uh, that there's no. It's not good. I need to be patient. We also should add something to our farm here. There we go. That stuff's not supposed to be locked here. So if you are really, really uh, eager to know where things are, where things are at, you can always find them there. I'm just confused that the ones that I ordered at the glassmaker's workshop aren't there yet. You guys are hauling them, but where to? So it looks as if, uh, seriously, it just takes that darn long, yeah. Finally, the first uh, green glass block has been delivered. So here I see a blank spot. Let's uh, continue that. And we're just going to produce us a little bit more of that. The trickiest part about your glass industry is always the sand collection. So, to truly automate it, it's a real pain in the rear. And I'd strongly recommend you not to try too hard um, automating uh, the, the industry without, um, without deeper knowledge of uh, programming these things. I'm going to give you, of course, a little bit of an intro introduction how to do this, don't worry. So we're placing down now here more and more green glass blocks. And the more of that stuff is being delivered here, the easier we'll have it to check out what's going down below. There you see it. Here is, uh, there's a cavity there. So let's see if the grate is also there. This is one thing that, uh, that's been a community idea, placing down a floor grate. I really don't know how that works or if it not doesn't work, but you can see here, the, here is a uh, blank spot and here's, uh, here's the cavities. Okay. 
So over the course of the time when the blocks are being made, we're also getting uh, more and more of the ability to dig us uh, through here. I'm making more and more of these because they will be integral for the uh, upcoming strategy. That's also why I have the um, stockpile here, because that makes it so much easier to uh, make sure that once we have deconstructed these, we can reuse them. And if there's a stockpile right next door to you, it makes things a lot easier. So just to give you an impression there. And we get the stone block back and we're going to dig a staircase in there, you know. I didn't see a monster there. Let's see how well that works. I mean, at the end of the day, adamantine mining is always in some, in some regard a risk. And uh, we totally need to put a door in here. And uh, we're, we're probably going to put even more doors in here. How about several doors? The thing is, this is probably one day soon the entrance to the underworld. Um, the, the worst place that, that the game has in store for you, you know? And uh, since we don't want to die miserably to that, we better make uh, preparations for that. So let's uh, fire up the spider silk farm for a moment again. And let's see. Yeah, things are getting done here super, super slow. So, never tried how the rock grate works, but the rock grate doesn't really uh, give you any impression about what's going on down below. All right. I was afraid that would be the case, but I really, really wanted to try. So, here we go. There was just a fireball down below, but that ain't uh, too deadly. And now we can just uh, continue like that. Now we're uh, constructing more of that glass floor there. As soon as we can. Yeah, all right. I think I need to wait for a, a moment longer until these items are fully deployed. So we're going to make sure that we're making more and more of these uh, glass blocks here. So our fortress has enough of that material to work with. You know, that's the best thing that we can prepare for now. So the other thing that we will do there, well, let's see. This is really, really far down below, but uh, I still want to do this here. So this is really far away from the actual adamantine mining district to be. But at the same time, I say it's as good as a, it's uh, as good as it'll be, you know. All right, so we're going to improve this here by engraving the hell out of it. I'm personally not a big fan of uh, spamming the uh, engraves like that, but uh, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right. So we got more green glass blocks. Good. Let's make sure these doors are always free. Also very, very important. There we go. Here we see another uh, cavity. And if you already know what's down there, you can already see the red gemstone. really sorry for the lack of proficiency with that method. I usually went for a much less, um, well, careful method. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's my first attempt at doing things a little bit less, uh, a little bit less uh, deadly for my own dudes. So here we're going to do it as this. And this doesn't look like there's magma or something down below, so we're going to dig a uh, fortification and check out what's in there. If we're uh, if we're digging there, there's also no warmth, so chances are it's going to be safe-ish. Good old. 
so here we see that or <laughs> or web spitting mechanism is working out perfectly fine our brewer is uh or or actually there's by now four people being trapped here because the uh forgotten beast is uh entrapping everybody who's uh trying to get there <laughs> so yeah web farms like these you really got to you really got to be careful with them you know so oh dear this is going to go bad these two people will be dead oh you see, they're uh, standing on the bridge, and uh, they got Adam smashed now. Alright, so turns out that system needs some tweaking. I didn't expect these folks to get there, so we lost two of our dwarves now. One thing that you can do is you can uh, draw them to try to go for this piece uh, of... Uh, as little as possible but you know yeah i didn't mean to but uh you know that's just how things can go sometimes oh yeah and we don't have a downstairs for real there just realized that that's why no smoothing can be done there okay well let's see we're going to deconstruct that thing here. But this way you can slowly get yourself forward here, step by step. And logistics is of course key here. It is uh, already, well, I'm not that super happy with it. Considering that workers have to go from elevation 7 all the way down to elevation minus 115. So that is, uh, that's quite the burden, you know. That's, uh, that's quite something for them to, to get used to. Not in the good way. So expanding the statue stockpile a, lot, a little bit. And uh, the most wonderful thing is they don't need to, to be uh, connected in any way. It works like that. Wood stockpiles are uh, developing into the positives. I bet that's because we have planted out more quarry bushes. Probably. Probably all the reason there. So my hunter sleeps here in this uh, cavern. Doesn't give me a good, uh, good feeling about that. So let's close off these. Oh, now I know what that a commotion was about. They tried to feed the bunny. That's why. So I did the mistake to put a grazing animal in there. So, yeah. Let's try our luck with that one. I mean, at the end of the day... I don't believe in anything like a uh, safe attempt of uh, mining this stuff. There's always some risk involved. But it's really important that you dig first the tiles that uh, don't house uh, gemstone. Because you know you want to preserve the gemstone under all circumstances. The gemstone is what you're after. And therefore it'd be a shame to destroy it. Yeah, the miner and the peasant that went missing. Yeah, these are the people that we uh, accidentally atom smashed by the attempt of uh, spider, spider silk farming. So, you know, you learn things over the course of the time. For example, I learned now that the doors need to be shut when I enable the uh, when I enable the atom smasher. You know, there's always something to be learned. All right, it takes a terribly long time for our people to arrive. All right, and uh, here we have now an explosion. And as you see here, we found an artifact. So uh, a pale metal earring, wonderful. So I'm not really convinced that this method really shows uh, us enemies because we haven't seen those earrings there before. 
in that regard, let's see. The fortification trick is uh, always a nice one. And when you want to go for the fortification trick, it's really, uh, really, really um, a good idea to go diagonal, you know. And also, I want to dig out as many tiles as I can before I go uh, and uh, dig out any fortification here. This area here is quite dangerous. If there'd be a, uh, a cave-in of magma now in any way, the uh, entire area here would not be large enough to, um, to carry all the magma. So I'm going to take that one because it's not it's clearly not in the vicinity of, of, of a magma pocket. And in the meantime, we're, uh, we're trying our best to pave our way with uh, glass blocks here. So the game is uh, admittedly made in a way that it's really hard to, to do it 100% uh, safe. I, I think it is uh, intentional that you do this like a lot, that you have to take some sort of a risk. If you'd like to mitigate your risk even more, try to uh, no longer employ super talented miners for these things. Sorry for skipping the trade uh, thingies here. All right, let's hope that nobody will die. There we go. So, I'm slowly trying to make this entire thing large enough for our um, for our city to, or for for a magma cave in to dry up in there. And also, these diamonds they need to be extracted. All right. So as you see here, it is a painstakingly slow process, but uh, it pays off to take things very very slow here so now we're waiting for a few more blocks there we can totally uh, be convinced that we can't take out that thing we also can safely take out that thing so it's t it's a tad bit like minesweeper where you uh, where you bit by bit find out where you actually can dig and where you can't dig so these two tiles aren't connected to the outside so we can widen our area of uh, of excess here a little bit and delete these uh, tiles here yet again so this is by no means a uh, a foolproof way and I don't think that these exist when it comes down to that. Maybe I'm just not good enough at the game yet, but I also feel like, uh, you know, it's very, very intentional that things are like that. So something has pulled the lever. Okay, so we got gremlins in here. On. Um... <sighs> making me unhappy but since lo uh, since doors can still be locked like that gremlins aren't that dangerous just use doors wherever you can things will get funky once we are no longer capable of uh, of locking in forgotten beasts with uh, with cheap methods like these so there we go and more migrants are arriving. That means we need to get back to a pasture. And while the progress today is is painstakingly slow, I I prefer it over dead dwarves like that. You know, you you have to take your own um uh, your your own pacing in that uh, scenario. You know, it's up to you how you take it. You can, of course, also just brute force it open now if you'd want to. The problem is just that there are sometimes enemies down there that you actually don't want to fight if you ever can avoid it, you know. Therefore, 
I'm personally a big fan of avoiding these fights as much as I can. Alrighty. And my personal experience is here, the more green glass blocks I got, the better. Basically, I went into this uh, operation here very, very ill-prepared. I should have probably made more of these. But the thing is, our fortress here is at a point where, except for a few more things, there is not that much more to show. We're going to build a, uh, a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a pump stack situation there too but i wanted to make it with magma so i need to prepare the pots before we can do that okay my friends so uh here we go that's uh that's our first attempt and we haven't found any adamantine yet but uh you know we're gonna begin there one step at a time don't rush things when it comes down to this business it is absolutely best to take it slow in my personal opinion there so I hope you enjoyed this for today. I really, really did so myself. There's, uh, like I said, this whole glass flooring thing. I imagined it different. I imagined it to work differently than I thought. But um, yeah, long story short, leave me your comments down below if you have any uh, things that you are you want to add into the whole um, thing here. Be my guest. I always love to hear from you folks. And as usual, leave a thumbs up on that video to make it more visible to everybody else. And of course, last but not least, consider subscribing. It's the easiest way to help out this channel. And yeah, there's a playlist link down there if you want to see more of the episodes. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.